There wasn't a lot for me to say in 1994 except yeah, Sonic and Knuckles. The sheer novelty. A cartridge with a lid that when lifted, revealed the lock-on technology that would have legions of kids experimenting with their cartridges in vain. Just imagine NBA Jam and Knuckles. Blasted no way screen. Well, if you haven't been living under a rock and you're roughly my age, you are proud to call yourself an owner of Sonic and Knuckles, and my favorite combination, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, had an advantage over Sonic 2, since you could play two games in chronological order. Oh, Knuckles. A fondness for him had I, with his Rastaman dreadlocks, irie colored steel shoes, and enigmatic personality. Defender of the Chaos Emeralds and floaty angel islands in the sky. It's a damn shame he doesn't have the hops that Sonic does, but man, the son of a bitch had fists the size of cannonballs, and the ability to beat the crap out of walls. With such pugilistic skill, it's a wonder he can't just run into bad nicks to make them go boom. Knuckles' story follows a different path from that of Sonic and Tails, seeing as his sole mission is to retrieve the Chaos Emeralds, and not necessarily to defeat Dr. Robotnik, who hoodwinked Knuckles into believing Sonic had attacked Angel Island, therefore leading to animosity between the two. Therefore, the Eggman is replaced by Egg Robo while the evil bastard rebuilds the Death Egg. Probably the most impressive aspect of this game are the 3D Chaos Emerald stages, which might make lesser gamers sick to their stomach. To this day, I haven't seen a more impressive test of reflexes and skill in a 16-bit video game. Grabbing that emerald is one of the more satisfying feelings you'll achieve in any video game. It's like reaching a piece of the Lost Ark of the Covenant. It's really hard to believe this was going to be released as one full game. The project pulled back due to limited time and financial constraints. Imagine owning a cartridge the length of a Pop-Tart. It was an excellent move by Steam to add this 1-2 combination to the Sega Genesis Classic Collection, although buyer beware, you'd better have a controller to play this, lest you die slowly on the inside, fumbling with a keyboard, like I did here. <laughs>